Hey friends, welcome back and always welcome if you are new. Today I'm bringing you some deep cleaning motivation. I am starting off in my dining room because it gets a lot of natural light. It also gets a lot of natural dust and things are very dusty and they need my attention. So I'm going to start off here and I'm going to work my way around into some other areas in my house. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to give this video a big, big, big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and go ahead and join the family. I would love to have you here. And turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any future uploads. Again, thank you so much for being here. And I won't even wait to the end to say Mwah, because I love you guys so much. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. So let's get into this cleaning. So I am really trying to get rid of products that I have when everything happened. I think I went crazy with buying a ton of products and yeah. So I'm trying to use up this pledge because it's okay, but I really like the method wood for good um, cleaner and I poured it into a glass jar or bottle that I got from Target and I'm just taking the remaining part that would not fit to kind of go over the um, dining area again just because I don't feel like the pledge really did what I was hoping to accomplish so I am just tackling that but I really do love the method wheel for good cleaner it smells amazing and not only does it like clean it shines very well so typically I would have to use some type of uh, polish and then go over it with like an orange glow or something like that but the method wheel for good is truly a one-stop shop I'm also going to clean up the carpet. I am going to make some changes in this area. Um, the seat cushions, I'm not bringing those back. So I'm going to make some changes in this area. I'm just trying to make some decisions on a rug. And I really want to get a new dining set. I've had this set for 12 years, guys. 12 years. And I do love it because the benches fold up and they, again, hide and store stuff. But it's been... A good while and I feel like I want to do something different my mom was telling me to just try um, like sanding it down and painting it or staining it a different color but I don't know um, but I'll stop babbling and get back to it Sweetness of my life. Oh, yeah. 
so I do need to um, refill the snacks <laughs> so this is my no pantry pantry mainly on this shelf I just keep all of the snacks and drinks um, other things that I use I store in the cabinets but since I don't have a pantry this is what I'm using I am thinking about either having Michael build me something or taking out the cabinets over by my refrigerator and having a pantry cabinet installed there because I have a good amount of space and it could be really deep and pretty wide. My refrigerator can stand to move over about a half a foot. So I don't know, I'm thinking about what to do there. Um, but in the meantime, this works. It's been this way for a while and it makes it so easy when they need to grab something or if I'm packing lunches, I don't have to you know, try to find what's what. It's really easy. It's like a little self-serve kiosk. The family room is not bad at all. It's actually been staying intact. I promise you guys, I know I said it in a previous video, but Squeaky Clean Life, Sean Yvonne is like helping me keep my life together. Just literally spending an hour each day being intentional about something in my home is just helping me, you know, keep my house clean and I'm not forced to just spend hours on top of hours cleaning like the weather is getting nice and I want to go out and I want to be outside we've all been cooped up and I really just want to have my time but I also want to clean house so make sure you check out her power hours I will definitely link her below again she's just doing a phenomenal job and she is keeping me going So 
So one thing that helps me with the bathrooms is I will either clean the tub before I get in the shower, which is what I do in my bathroom. But in the kids' bathroom, I wanted to do more. And so I love the scrubbing bubbles, like foam or even the spray, whichever. They both work great. And I will just spray it down and let it sit for like, I don't know, an hour. I'll just let it sit. And then you come in and you're literally just washing it off. It does not take much at all. And I really do want to dust off the shelves up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle that and a few other things in the bathroom. But yes, I'm definitely getting the Littles bathroom back intact. They are still doing great ever since we remodeled this space for them. They do a really good job keeping it clean. It just needs a mom clean the day, that's all. I wanna make it sweat on me. I got you wrapped around my finger. But don't you try to call me tomorrow. Watch me break in So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I am just going to finish up cleaning the bathroom and I'm going to put out some fresh towels and washcloths for the kiddos. And I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video. I'm actually going to do some self care. I didn't mind doing this type of cleaning with the dust and everything because it was my hair washing day. So that's why I look a hot mess. Really the mess in the video is myself, but don't worry, I definitely took care of that when I was done. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.